Hey guys, it's Susan from Estes for Succulents and I am staying at home for obvious reasons like most of us are so I'm using the opportunity to do some maintenance on my succulent succulents because God knows um, they really need it and I've got a lot of stuff going on and they are just taking over every space nearly um, in the yard. So what I wanted to show you was this is where I keep my full sun succulents and um, they've done pretty well considering we just came out of summer some of them have had some been damage like those imbricatas they got a little bit of rot and so they need a bit of attention too anywho but there is one that I really want to focus on right now and this is the Echeveria Golden Glow which is this one and it just grows like a boss seriously um, through summer it threw off a lot of flower blooms and I used those for propagation and you would think that these are flower blooms too but I could tell they were growing differently but I just thought let them go and see what happens because you know there's this rule that people say in the succulent community that um, pups from the bottom flowers from the top so these technically not from the bottom because you can see new ones are coming here so they're from the top but if we look down they don't look like flowers they look like elongated really leafy um, pups so the problem is the whole thing is really heavy and leggy let me show you hold on let's um, cut to another angle so if I come around from this side, you can see it's in a really large pot. This is a big pot, like maybe about 50 mils, um, really high, really deep. And we come in here, I'm going to pull this pot out so we can have a better look, but just quickly, um, I'm just trying to capture it. It's not working because it's yucky leaves. See that? See that stem? It's long, it's fat throwing off some pups all sorts of weird stuff going on down there not weird actually good stuff um, so I need to decide what to do and how to maintain this because obviously a good head chop is probably in order because I am using some empty pots there's two of them um, to prop that up to hold up the weight so that's not ideal, is it? <laughs> um, all right, so let's get this pot out so we can have a better look at what's going on. Okay. Just before we move on, just another side note. How I kept like this pot here, um, that pot there, looking really good and undamaged through summer was it was a little bit of a sacrifice aesthetically for my own liking. But what I did was I used big pots like this one here, this Chrysler, I don't like this Chrysler, I really don't, um, but it grows really tall and um, you know it's, it's a good grower is basically what I'm trying to say. So I used pots like that and then I have this pot, this is huge too um, and it's got four big giant um, Zoros in them and like that pot there, that pot there. They're not my favourite succulents, but what I did was I put them around the perimeter of um, these pots. The sun's coming out, creating the shadows. Um, and I've got a fly buzzing around in my face. <laughs> and so, you know, I used them to create shade around the outside of the, um, you know, put them against the pot so they get a bit of sun but it was filtered through their leaves and stuff and it worked it didn't look great I couldn't see my favorite succulents very well but it is a good little trick if you're um, you know if you've got a lot of pots and you can't move them around in summer and you're scared because summer's scary <laughs> um, but we got through it we got through it the best season's coming winter winter is so good it stresses your succulents out it gives them beautiful colors um, you get a lot of natural water <laughs> from the rain, yeah, which can lead to rot. I can hear you all saying, yep, 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 got it. Um, but hey, you know, I think I could uh, deal with that better than sunburn and 
all that sort of stuff that goes with um, high UVs and all that stuff. All right, so I'm going to get the pot out now. Whew, that was hard work. That is super heavy. <laughs> I dragged it out from over there. So what I want to do is I want to get these elongated pups off to take some weight off it. You can see this one's already collapsing. The pot plant, the succulent that was under there was actually propping it up. So um, when these first started appearing, I did a little head chop to see what would happen. And I did it here. So you can see there's the cut and it threw off a really cute pup actually. Um, so that's interesting and the remainder, um, I don't have them close by but they've, it, the, the head part of it has rooted up. Um, and if we go over onto this side, sorry if I sound out of breath, there's my finger, because um, it's really awkward moving around and filming. So um, there's the cut there and it's thrown off two pops, so that's really sweet really like that um, all right so what are the options we can do that again just cut them off and we'll probably get some new pops there um, but I think that's gonna look a little fugly you know what I mean because it's just gonna be a and that ain't nice and the objective is to remove weight right okay um, so I'm just going to make the most out of these and chop them right back to there, right down to the base. And um, I will chop them in three sections. I'll take the pretty part off of the top and try and root that up as a new plant. And some of these I may just leave them as stems and pop them in pot, wait for the root, wait for some bubs to come. And the others, I'm just going to steal the leaves for propagation because these leaves are really fat and juicy and they'll propagate really well. Okay, there they are. Jeez, um, it's a cloudy day but the sun keeps popping out. I prefer to film while it's um, overcast. Anywho, uh, look at these, they're monsters. They're so heavy. Hello, hello. All right, that's enough for being silly. Okay, um, so there's the pot. It does look better. It's still a bit of a leaning tower. I'm just kind of curious if we take that out. The thing is, these seedling pots that I've used, they're kind of tall, but this succulent is um, but its lowest sleeve is getting a little bit too tall for them. So I'm going to probably have to MacGyver another situation if I don't behead it. And I am leaning that way. Yeah, I can hear. Why? 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 Why, why just chop it off? Because I have my reasons. But first, I just want to see how stable that is now without the weight. It's not bad holding itself up. I would like it a little bit more like that. Hmm. Alright, the reason why I don't want to head chop it right now is firstly it's throwing off more of these bubs and I don't want to compromise the energy that it needs to uh, use to grow them. And if I chop it off, it will use that energy to create roots. Though there are some air roots that I might be able to take advantage of. Um, but my personal reason for uh, not head chopping it is I can still hide that stem. And where it was, I really liked where it sat. It sat um, higher than these. And this is a this pot here I've raised it I've put a few bricks under it so the um, you know the the tails can um, have some space to grow long um, so that is really the only reason because if I put it back down there it's going to be lower and then I have a stub to worry about 
and that and I don't want to leave it in the pot because that's fugly and I have to find another pot for it and I just don't want to do it um, but I want to see how 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 she goes what I might do is try and straighten her up by just playing around with the soil a little bit and um, I might try and find a stick that I can sort of wedge and hold that up for a little while because another thing that might happen is I might get some really nice bobs down there as well um, I would imagine it is it will be inevitable I will have to do it eventually but I don't want to do it now okay so I'm sit actually sitting down on the ground um, but I've tidied it up I got all the those yucky old leaves off and I found a piece of stick bamboo I think it is and I've just wedged it down in there and wedged it between the leaves just to hold it and I just um you know just fluffed up the soil and pushed it around a bit and it's, it's quite stable now so removing that weight has really helped um we had a few castaways from leaves falling in there from the other pots and I think I just threw that um, Francisco Bordy cutting in there or something you know a piece that snapped off it's rooted and this is um, probably one of the only few pops it's thrown from the bottom though it's thrown a nice one there now isn't it okay now these things are just spinning me out. They really are. Is it? <laughs> they're just, um, I don't know, they're kind of pretty. They're kind of pretty just like that. And I was thinking maybe, oh yeah, this was in there as well. Um, so I might just lay it in there somewhere and just let it root up. But um, coming back to these, I thought, I wonder if I just, you know, had them... Uh, pot them up all in a pot would that look would that look nice it might actually look kind of striking it's a shame to cut them they're not that gappy and leggy so I think that's what I might do I might just see what happens it's a bit of an experiment really I mean after all there are more coming they just keep this 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 it's very as a gun man it just keeps popping out throwing out stuff it's a giver it's definitely a giver so if you've watched any of my videos you might have noticed a bit of a trend where i change my mind well i change my mind <laughs> i got this pot and i just put some soil in it i really like the way they look so i thought if i just let them sit there in a you know non-direct sunlight spot and just let the roots um, you know let it root up and see what happens and then if I still want to cut the tops off at least the bottoms are rooted so that part of the, the second half of it can still possibly throw out pups and and so forth and then I can take the heads so I just don't want to chop it up you know it doesn't feel right I'm an intuitive gardener <laughs> no, seriously I am oh take a deep breath that was hard work I moved it back in and moved the other pots back around and so it looks a lot neater remember earlier I said I wanted to keep the height because I like the way it looked next to the other pot see how it's higher than these um, tricolors and you still you can't really see the stem so I think it's worked out really well actually I might just have a quick skim over some other pots because I've got a feeling people are kind of curious so this one has evolved a lot um, but you know different things I mean have been in and out of that pot some Francisco Baldies. These are nice. These are really pretty, really waxy kind of leaves. Got a little violet queen there. Oh, now look at this. Look, I like to call them little faces. Look at all the smiley little faces. 
I really like this. This is a Gruptivaria male pin. This is, oh, those two babies there. Aren't they gorgeous? And this one here is really sweet. It's really miniature. It's quite a slow growing sort of area. Sort of area. Albina Silver Star. Whoops. This is my Romeo that I won. <laughs> As you can probably tell by the shadows and the way the light is, it's late in the day and I'm tired and my dogs are hungry. So I hope that was fun for you. It was fun for me. Um, yeah, just enjoy sharing what I get up to. Alright, catch you guys later. Be safe. Bye.